the Senator from Washington. Madam President, I ask unanimous consent the Senate be in a period of morning business with Senators permitted to speak there and for up to 10 minutes each. Without objection. Madam President. The Senator from Washington. Thank you, Madam President. Madam President, I can say with confidence to the senior Senator from Kentucky who spoke this morning on child care, as a former preschool teacher, we can rest assured we're not at risk of a toddler takeover in the U.S. Senate. But seriously, I have never heard so much misinformation in such a short time from one person. It's not at all clear to me that the senior senator from Kentucky read the bill, the Build Back Better bill. So I want to set some facts straight. Under our bill, working parents will have way more options and pay way less to send their child to a high quality child care provider they choose. Same with pre-K. Parents of three and four year olds will have more options to send their kids to quality preschool for free. We're talking about parents saving thousands of dollars a year on childcare and pre-K, which are huge financial burdens to families right now. It's also, by the way, a great deal for our states, who, by the way, are already working with the federal government on childcare. And 44 states already have some form of publicly funded pre-K. So this plan is not some new outlandish idea. And finally, religious providers and family-based providers are absolutely eligible. So this isn't a radical plan. It's a practical solution to, again, a huge financial barrier that parents are facing today. It is not a toddler takeover. It's giving parents more choices and more affordability, though I'd um, actually prefer toddlers on the Senate floor to what I saw today. And it is not far left propaganda because I can't emphasize this enough. This is not a political question for parents. For them, the question is, can I choose the provider I actually like? Or do I have to go to this cheaper one just because I can't afford the one I really want to send my kids to? Or is it worth me going back to work if I have to pay as much as for rent or mortgage or college tuition? as I do to send my child to a provider that I trust? Or how long am I going to be on this wait list? And what do I do in the meantime? What Democrats want to do is make sure there are more affordable options out there for parents. What Senate Republicans want to do is nothing. But watch the prices keep rising. And here's the thing. I have seen again and again, when someone says you can't do something, it's because they're afraid that you will. It's because they are afraid that we will. Senate Republicans are shaking in their boots because what we are really doing something that helps working parents with a big part of their costs. So I'm sure they're going to keep calling affordable child care radical and insisting it would be better to do just nothing. And I am equally sure that Democrats are going to get this done. Thank you, Madam President. I yield the floor. And I suggest the absence of a quorum. The clerk will call the roll. Ms. Baldwin.